So in this first video, <clears throat> we're going to have a look at motion graphs. And it's important to get the most out of this video. You should have a pen, a paper, so you can practice when the video pauses and asks you some questions. And there'll also be some questions which you can click on. So when you have a motion graph, the first thing that you need to look at is which kind is it. And they're always going to have time along the bottom axis but up this side axis, the vertical axis, they might have distance or velocity or speed. So let's think about the distance time graph first. So we've got distance here and time here. And distance time graphs often tend to consist of simple ones with straight lines, which might look like this. Then we might have a section like this. Then we might have a section like this then a section like this, and then a section coming down like this. <clears throat> so let's have a think about what each of these sections would mean. So if we look at this first section, A, we can see as time passes, the distance is going up. And because that's straight with a constant gradient, then we know the speed is constant. So this would be constant speed. Then section B, as time passes this way, the distance isn't going up. So that would be stationary. Then on section C, once again, we have as time passes, distance going up. But you'll notice that this gradient of the graph is steeper and that tells us that it's moving faster. Then here we have, once again, with in section D, as time increases, the distance stays the same, and that tells us that it is stationary again. And this last section, section E, was showing that as time passes, the distance decreases, which tells us that it's going back in the other direction. So let's see if you were listening to that. Um, and we'll try a few questions. So, first of all, in which section is it stationary? Hopefully you chose B and D. In which section is it moving fast in a forward direction? Hopefully you chose C. And finally, in which section is it moving in the opposite direction or back the way it originally went? Hopefully you chose E. And now we'll let you try a few distance time graphs of your own. So the first thing that I'd like you to do is to draw yourselves a set of axes. So you need to draw a vertical axis and label that distance and then horizontal axis and label that time. The first graph I'd like you to try drawing, I'd like you to try showing someone who walks slowly for a short time, then stops, and then walks quickly again for a short time. So hopefully you have drawn a graph that looks like this, where they're going slowly with a shallow gradient then they stop, the grind is horizontal, and then for the final section, steeply showing them going more quickly. So let's have a look now at the other kind of graph that we'd get, which would be a velocity time graph. Now, the first thing that you need to remember is that velocity just means speed in a given direction. So whenever you answer a question, it's always important to check, have I got a velocity time graph or a distance time graph? So let's consider a simple case of a velocity time graph that might look something like this. So let's think about this. So this is showing 
But as time passes, the velocity or speed increases. So in section A, we would say it is accelerating. Then this section shows that as time increases, the velocity or speed stays the same. So we would describe section B as constant speed. Then in section C, as time passes, the velocity or speed is decreasing. So we'd say it's decelerating or slowing down. In section D, as time passes, the velocity is zero which means it's stationary. And then in section E, the velocity is now negative, which shows it's going in the opposite direction, but it's getting faster as the velocity is increasing in magnitude. So let's see if you were listening, which option best describes the motion during section B. Hopefully you chose constant speed or constant velocity. And which option or which section of the graph shows where the thing is stationary? Hopefully you chose option D. And which section of the graph shows the object which is accelerating and getting faster? Hopefully you chose option A. And let's now test you to draw a velocity time graph. So you'll need to get a piece of paper and draw a set of axes. Label this one velocity and this one time. So I'd like you to draw something where a car starts stationary and then accelerates. It then goes at constant speed for a little bit and then accelerates some more. And then suddenly it sees someone step into the road and the car brakes and decelerates very quickly over a short period of time to a stop. So hopefully you've drawn the car accelerates, then it goes at constant speed, then it accelerates again, and then it does its emergency stop, which will be slowing down. But because this section should be very steep, because it's slowing down at a very rapid deceleration.